All right, what's up guys, guys and girls, we are back for another ESPN MIC Highlights Reel. At the end of every single week, I like to showcase Alex's trades, what he did, the PL he made, showcase some members, how simple process can be. And actually, before I start this thing legitimately, let me show this to you guys. So this is obviously myself, my number at 213-458-5997. Guys, this is my business line. So at any point you have some interest in MIC because of this video, or maybe you learned something cool during this video, which is always the goal for everybody, then maybe MIC is for you and maybe you give it a try and maybe you text this number and uh, see how to get started and I will uh, answer all your questions. But let's dive, let's dive into this thing, man, because I'm excited. It was a fun week. So we are Monday, October 24th, guys. I'm actually going to read Alex's uh, P&L really quick. So he goes, Mots, I tried to short. Obviously, this was a loss day. After the stuffed and covered for a small loss in the dip, then reshort again and covered out now. Ran out of patient, not ran out of patience, not much range, so I am okay eating a small loss on this. And he actually officially lost only $357. And he said, slow, choppy day, so I sized down and took what the market gave me, which obviously wasn't much. Not all days can be home runs, but as long as I keep my losses under control, I will win in the long term. Zombie hours are approaching, so I didn't want to overstay. And guys, this is the thing that we talk about all the time. I gave a webinar on this actually today, is when you are taking losses in trading, the full aspect and the full spectrum of being a trader is obviously letting your winners run and having you know as good of you know win R and R ratio as you can. But those times that you do lose, you are prepared for it with a hard stop. You know your process of stopping out. Just like you know about winning, you have this whole plan for losing as well. And you take your losses as if the old adage or the old saying, okay, I lost the battle today, but I'm going to win the war. You are winning the war knowing that you're going to be trading for decades and decades to come. And when you take those hard stops for very tiny losses, I mean, look at this, Alex, $357. Guys, that's nothing. Then his next day was, you know, on Tuesday, 2100, 1800 on Wednesday. He was sick Thursday and then 2300 on Friday. Today, on the time of recording this, you guys understand that you can lose the battle every now and then. You just can't lose the war. And the only way to lose the war is either blow up an account or quit or both at the same time. You know what I mean? So you got to you got to treat losses just like you would any other part of process. So let's actually take a look at this thing. So we're going, uh, obviously, to the 24th. Uh, if you see right here, guys, as I scroll, you're going to see what day it is. So if this is a 20-day chart, this was Mott's. Alex did exactly what he said. You know, come the open right here. You know, you got this pop right here. He tried to short into it. And then, obviously, he covered up for very quick. Realized that's probably not the way to go. He was adding right here. And then covered out as soon as it started to dip and tank and give him an exit out within this area in the morning. One-minute charts look a little different from three minutes, but it's all right here in the morning. So as you guys can see, he was mitigating what he deemed as probably a trade that wasn't going his way and was saying, let me mitigate this and cover out on a dip and just get out of this. And that's exactly what Alex did. So, you know, not even a $400 loss. That's nothing for Alex. Now, when we take it to the members and I want to do a little bit fewer of charts this week, guys, because I want to make these short and simple uh, videos for you. But check this out. So couple highlights for the members. Chooch, absolutely fantastic job. AMPX, outer lines, whole and half dollar number. I mean, this is picture perfect based on the, on the previous lines of what he's looking to hit. The previous resistance, guys. This is outer lines coupled with a whole and half dollar. This is MIC process. Like, dude, I take my hat off to you. That's like in a nutshell what we teach. Now, Rockbon is awesome with these outer lines waiting for the top at the outer levels and then again guys probably shorting into the 250 line waiting you know going a little bit early based on this top right here shorting where it previously failed probably willing to scale up to 250 awesome awesome job and he didn't even have to like seriously sometimes you can give it five or ten cents depending if you're shorting in the correct area now, if we take a look at Hooper X, who's awesome these days at Outer Lines, also with follow-through, here's what he did on PCVX, long wait for the break, but it finally failed, and that's exactly what he did. So, you know, it's given back, coming into the open, he wanted to hit the pop, always wait for that pop, guys, that is the key. Do not rush into these things. Now, Octagon on, on KSPN played it absolutely perfectly, waited for all that volume, 
right here to kind of overextend waited for the fail right there hit exactly where resistance failed the first time right here guys and then waited for that line again when it tested later in the day that is picture perfect soy sauce coming in with an 800 dollars day fantastic job on hscs and hootie thanks mic so now we come into uh we come into tuesday october 25th of this week and i'm going to pull up everything for you so you can see everything i'll do one at a time uh let's go over what alex was talking about so he made $2,100 on Tuesday, roughly $2,100. Another slow and choppy day in the markets, but stayed patient for a great opportunity on AMV, which we'll look at in a second, and nailed it. TSHA, small scalps along the way helped, but in this market cycle, I'm sizing down to protect myself from this choppy price action. So when we have a choppy price action market, guys, every now and then, yes, it is a little humbling, and yes, you do have to size down. But it is what it is, and that's just part of process. Like, there's not much more you can do than just play your process based on what the market is giving you. So, if we pull up uh, TSA, TSHA, we're going to the twenty, uh, the twenty fifth, which is right here, and um, and Alex did. Let's uh, let's read the watch list. Potential hot chick. So, so wait to see what it does first. If it fails, we can start attacking, but I'd rather wait and see first. And remember, Alex is always writing these pretty early. So if this is, you know, this is not necessarily the exact example, but sometimes guys, these are running really, really rampant. And Alex is saying, you know, it's a hot chick. Well, it is at the time of writing, but sometimes they give back massively by open and we adjust. That's why you're taking full on advantage come you know the main trading chat with live commentary to complement the watch list and then every now and then alex will actually readjust the watch list closer to the open so alex did exactly what he wanted we get this flush in the open and then what happens is he waits for the pop and then hits one of the this is technically an outer line because it was failing right here so alex did exactly that covered up and and literally hit it again in here so all morning trades, scalps in the morning, very quick. And then if you guys have a day job, on your day job. It can be truly as simple as that. Now, when we pull up AMV on the 25th, which is obviously right here, because that's pretty much the only day with volume. Uh, if this was just a straight pumping up, guys, there's not much to this other than the fact that Alex caught a nice pump. And uh, every now and then you're just going to get a gift basket from these pumpers, you know, just random, random gift baskets from the old good old Santa Claus pumpers. You know, it happens. So betting against their uh, longs is, um, you know, you got to time it right. But when you do, it can uh, it can obviously uh, be a, a, a gift basket, you know, wrapped up with a bow. So uh, Ryan Conley on on Tuesday, TSHA small scalp on the long. So this is what I love, guys. We have a community where while Alex may be shorting because he's waiting for our lines, maybe Ryan's catching those support levels that are, you know, because he's a long trader as well, he's ambidextrous, maybe he's catching those support levels that are holding while Alex is waiting for those outer lines, he's hitting the levels of support that are absolutely um, a good R&R &R to buy. And, and again, he knows that the money might flip hands quickly, just like Alex does. Make your money, get your scalp, get your two scalp, get your three scalp, whatever it is. How many ever tickers you're playing on a given morning. And guys, you just made a full-time income in one day, and then you're going to do it again and again. You know, it, obviously, if you trade every single week, you're going to be able to supplement and then full-on replace it eventually. And sky's the limit. Sometimes you make $300 in a day, and Alex is crushing with a $2,100 Tuesday. So... Again, you know, that's a full month's income for like an 18-year-old in one day. So you never know, right? And then obviously you can see the exponential growth based on, you know, the week, the month, the year, and basically what's made annually. I think Alex um, in the last three years has made roughly like $7.3 million. So you guys can see that that's, uh, that's quite astronomical uh, in the scheme of money. And it was all due to day trading that first hour of the day, which I'm just showing you guys every single week, endless examples of the little blueprints on how you get there, or at least a fraction of that, which is still okay, you know? TSHA, David, awesome short, just based on the watch list, guys, just following the watch list. TSHA, I just want to show you how simple this can be where the members are literally reading the watch list and then taking advantage of said watch list every single day. Um, Rockmon, sober, dude, outer lines, awesome, awesome job, covered under the red to green, fantastic work. Travers is so good at doing these scoops, and this is what I like about Travers. He'll get in, so we waited for this teleport candle. It drops, he catches it, he sells on the way up. He's not greedy, and then he always holds a little bit 
for a break even. See that last exit right there? While that may be at the tiniest of loss, he's already cushioned from these cells and that's MIC process right there. Pay yourself so if this thing doesn't keep going, whether you hold 5, 10, 20% for a really, really crazy move, even if you break even on it, you've already padded yourself with these cells. So awesome job, Travers, just getting better and better at this stuff. I swear this kid's taking over. So I love seeing the progress of everybody. You guys, you guys hear me say I love a lot because I love a lot of things. So let me pull this up. Alex is on Wednesday, the day I do the new member orientation webinar. He makes 1800. He said the PL is nice, but I am most happy about my stop. And I can't wait to show you guys this, this example on epics. This, this example on epics is absolutely <laughs> freaking epic. This morning, when the stock stuffed at 10.22 a.m. and did not tank, that was my signal to get out and run. So, guys, you have to see this. This chart, this chart is the highlight of the week, and I'll show you why. Everybody remembers epics, man. This was an absolute, no pun intended, but like epic move, right? So, actually, I just type in epic. So, let me pull up epics. Um, guys, this is, this is insane, right? So, look at how crazy of a runner this was, right? And what are we on? We are on the 26th, so right here, obviously. It was the first day of the run, I remember that. It was absolutely nuts. Alex is, so here's what here's what Alex did, and let me see if I can expand this a little bit. Again, guys, we are, if you are hitting something deemed quote unquote front side and or hot chick over VWAP, deviated from VWAP, you must hit outer lines near hole and half dollar areas. And that's what Alex was doing. He was using the three line, obviously a hole and half dollar after this parabolic move, um, you know, obviously before zombie hour was kind of, but he knew zombie hour was coming. So this didn't break down under VWAP and he took his covers. So he waits for these ideal sniper entries covers. And then this is the most beautiful part. If you're a position player or you're one of those guys that just adds adds and adds and waits for these things to crumble and do offerings and stuff we're not bashing that setup guys it's just dude if you're too stubborn without stops or you know you're a day trader who doesn't have these hard stops or you keep adding adding to a loser it can really snowball and get in your way and be a real hindrance to your trading and blow an account so as you guys can see alex was wrapping up his trade right here can you guys see this he was shorting right here Wrapping up his trade right here, if he was a stubborn idiot, I'm going to draw this out for you guys at how important this is. This is where Alex was exiting. Look at the trouble stubbornness can get you in. So again, guys, like you never know sometimes how far a stock can run. And if you're a position player, that's okay. It's just a very different play style. And those guys, when they lose, they lose big. But when they win, they win big. So at MIC, we kind of teach everyday intraday scalps and, you know, risk management and taking the money and cutting immediately when wrong. And this is like the sexiest example to show how important risk management is and can be in your trade guys like it only takes one trade to end you as a trader not to get morbid or anything one trade is never going to make you but one trade can end you so risk management and hard stops is so freaking important guys like i'm, I'm like so passionate about that uh naughty larry perfect name awesome job outer lines on bbby bed bath and beyond obviously uh real professor x Oh, uh, what do you say? Wasn't wasn't about to sit around in the chop as on BBBY. Bailed for gas money. That's funny. Still using the outer lines. Covered up. Um, great job, David. Epic short. Doing exactly what Alex did. Waiting for that three line. Paying himself. Make your money. Bounce. Uh, Hooper X. Obviously, just the master of outer lines on low hanging fruit and day twos and day threes. I absolutely love it, man. Great job. Basically, low hanging fruit in a nutshell. And again, again. <laughs> To show you guys the contrast of the members and the play styles at MIC, not every trader is a short seller. And that's how Ryan was capturing the awesome nail of support, risking probably under VWAP, I want to say the 260, maybe 250 area. But dude, look at this. So while Alex is covering up, Ryan's like, this support's probably going to hold. We're heading into zombie hour. And dude, that's a freaking touchdown in the end zone. This is truly becoming an ESPN highlight reel <laughs> with Blackstyle. And again, guys, I just wanted to show you this. I don't normally showcase.
showcase bow for a very specific reason as I want to showcase members but I have to throw an example every now and then on how simple process can be and why our members charts are looking like the mentors of 10 and 20 years because you guys are getting so good and what you're doing is you're mirroring what works and what is bow always doing he did not do the three line he waited for the outermost line at five hole and half dollar waited for the parabolic waited for the volume to drop off a little bit what did he do he paid himself and then he shorted back where it failed previous this is that's not him chasing right here hoping for a flush down vwap this is full process that's where the stock was failing and he played the channel or at least the area of volatility that he should align with his entries and exits guys we teach this every single week and that's why the members we teach this every single day and that's why the members are doing so dang good. And then, again, if you guys want a really cool Halloween costume this year, uh, James has this um, <laughs> in his back pocket. I think that's freaking hysterical. Um, guys, Alex was unfortunately very sick on Thursday, so I put a couple photos of him partying tonight. This is actually going on right now. He's probably totally face down in the couch at his house, but he's throwing a Halloween party. He's Buzz Lightyear. The dude's super happy. Look at this freaking guy. And uh, this is his partner in crime, Marvin, who parties, has been partying with them for like give or take, I think like anywhere from three to five years. And Marvin knows how to throw down, man. So he's definitely one of the boys and Buzz Lightyear's having a good time. So <laughs> just wanted to show you guys what Alex is up to right now as I'm uh, filming this video. I think that's hysterical. Happy Halloween, Alex. Happy early Halloween. Um, all right, so we are coming into the members, guys, yesterday on Thursday, obviously. Quiche on, uh, Quiche on KZIA all out using the follow-through. Absolutely phenomenal job in the morning. Uh, P-O-A-G-F-S using those outer lines, paying, paying himself on flushes, and then shorting the pop back paying himself on a drop whatever you want to call it, guys pops drops flush there's a million names for all these um we use certain names for certain setups at mic but you know if something drops you can call it whatever you want hey the stock just had an earthquake i covered on the earthquake whatever um el matador i want to point out how cool this is here's the thing man this is why it's cool you can be trading for 20 years and still leave a ton of dead wood on the trade. So while this is not the best exit in the world, this happens, man. You can't beat yourself up every single time it happens or any time it happens. Look, you covered a little too soon. Was there a lot more money to be made? Had you held, of course, welcome to trading, bro. We're all human. We're not terminators. And then again, Wolf. I have to showcase every now and then a very good stop. And that's exactly what um, what Wolf did on Epics right here. And every now and then you just got to showcase stopping out is the name of the game to keep you in the game forever. And again, guys, I want to include one more example of bow. Remember, parabolic volume drop off, short the resistance, cover the drops, and then short back the channel that works. Bing, bang, boom, boom. It's all the same line until the line doesn't work. Do you see how this works? So Bao is paying himself in the channel like a current of money all day of entries and exits, exits with absolute precision. So let's go into uh, today, Friday, and what we're gonna showcase is Alex making 2300 uh, what's he saying? Solid day trading today. Unfortunately, I missed Epics from the watch list, his own watch list, because I was too focused on some large cap stocks today, but solid way to end the week. I think it was 2300 on Amazon, if I'm not mistaken, guys. So check this out. Um, let's take a look at this. So, and, and just to show you what was on the watch list, guys, really quick. Uh, Epics, he was looking for a rejection of 475 to five lines in the morning with a 520 stop. Uh, and then look at five to six lines for a scalp. Stock was very uh, cheap borrow, so high chance a zombie later so that was kind of his guide in the morning but alex was actually focused on amazon and let's take a look at that i know a couple of moderators steven as well was on amazon in the morning these outer lines you know a lot of newbie traders guys see news like this whether it's bad earnings it could be any bad news literally just a hit piece in general it could be anything it doesn't really matter all i'm talking about is massive weakness or a bad turn of events for the stock you know bad news essentially of any form and what new traders do is they see this and they go, oh my God, you know, I'm going to hit down here. I'm going to hit down here. And they chase this stuff, not knowing how stocks work, you know, just because something is weak, they could have reported the worst earnings of all time. And stocks do still not just go straight down and they don't just go straight up, vice versa. Good news. 
So you have to be wary of that. So what Alex was doing was using a very psychological price target. I mean, guys, when we say whole and half dollar numbers like 550 and 6 and 650, like every now and then there's a psychological price target that is like a freaking billboard. Hundy spot. Hundy, baby. So that was the billboard entry right there. Alex was using absolute psychological levels on where there would be a solid resistance. It kind of coincides with right here, this outer line, and just waiting for this to overextend on, you know, kind of bad news, right? So, the, you know, the day before. So using that momentum, got the scalp that he needed in the morning. And it, it's as simple as that, guys. You're you like, wipe your hands clean, make 2300 bucks, And who doesn't want to do that? Seriously, look how simple that can be. So uh, David coming in off the watch list, exactly what he said, epic short, exactly what Alex was talking about, uh, short right off the watch list. Again, uh, jo uh, Joseph right here doing uh, QNGY, waiting for that pop and drop like Bao always does, wait for the top, hit the pop, cover the drop. It's as simple as that, guys, truly as simple as that. And again, J Fusion doing exactly what the watch list says. So again, members just crediting the watch list in the morning on Epic's great freaking job. Split letter, I just wanted to showcase this as this guy is doing so good these days. Four or five charts posted every single day. I swear this guy's on everything and he's doing a fantastic job. So big shout out to Split Letter. Uh, P.O., awesome, awesome, awesome job on SPRC while QNGY was going crazy, shorted near high a day, stopped out at 130 and re-entered. So guys, just because you stop out every now and then does not mean you can't do the re-attack and then see that follow through. So just, I love when traders, you know, stumble a little bit and then pick themselves up. It's almost like walking down a sidewalk and you trip a little bit and then you catch your footing and then you just have a great day and you're like, hey, thank God I didn't twist my ankle. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of things like that. And then um, let me show you a couple cool things, guys, before I wrap this up. So this is our chat room right here. It's called Slack. And what we do in here is a you know just a plethora of different resources for you. So we've cultivated a wonderful community. Watch list in the morning, as you can see, which I showcase obviously every single day, every single video. And then we take it in the main trading chat. And this is where you have your live commentary, live warnings, live charts from the mentors, the moderators, a lot of the members, you know, anybody who can provide some value during market hours. You know, oh, again, that was Steven, like I just mentioned, using that psychological price target at 100 super, super psychological um, on Amazon for a nice scalp. And and that'll make your day, man. Make a couple grand walk out in your, uh, your mic drop, you know? Large cap and options, guys. Swing trading room. There's nothing we don't have. An after hours room where we share the fun. Uh, show Alex at the party, you know. <laughs> this is Alex and his, and his friends, Marvin, with the with the fake rolly. I think Marvin's got a fake rolly. They bought him like this costume rolly for little uh, alien Marvin. Is that the funniest thing ever? <laughs> that is the fun. Actually, knowing Alex, that's probably a real rolly. She probably just gave him his rolly. That's hysterical, man. But they they literally go on Amazon and like bike like fake Yeezys and fake Yeezys and fake chains and fake beanies and costumes for this freaking character that they keep around the house when they throw bangers and parties it's hysterical because the ladies it's like a lady trap like all the ladies love Marvin and then these guys have a better chance with the ladies because of iced out Marvin little do they know it's probably like some Amazon cosplay so and uh, you can see he's got a glazed look in his eyes so I don't know how good Marvin's doing right now but that's the point guys is community it's so much freaking fun um, we teach everything from small caps, big caps, options, have fun as a community, mentor each other. And that's the whole name of the game. So, you know, look no further than one of the best communities on the planet for anything a trader needs. And really quick guys, as it's always tradition every single week, you know, it is, let me bust out the fat calculator. All right. So what are we going to do here? Let's, uh, let's go. We'll go Friday down. So 2,300. And this is not the exact dollar amount, guys. This is give or take like fifty dollars here and there. So I ballparked, but literally we're not gonna we're not gonna count pennies. Uh, what twenty one fifty? All right, so sixty two fifty minus what three fifty seven? And this is as close to the dollar amount as possible. So Alex basically made six thousand dollars this week, even with a first day loss on Monday. But he kept, look at how small he keeps his losers and then lets his winners run. And that's the whole name of the game of process, guys. And this is how important it is. Really quick, I'm going to go to this real quick and plug this for a second because this is the coolest thing we got going on right now, guys. We have a new 
live trading series and Alex is recording a lot of his old trades or well you know they're currently um they're recorded at the time that he's doing it but it takes a while to kind of edit these and make sure that they're up to speed and you know and really explain and Alex commentates he literally commentates during these videos and we edit them so you can learn better and see what he's talking about in the time you know in the moment when he's trading so it's live trades commented uh commentated by him set to music everything that you could need and this is a huge asset so i'm actually going to show you how to access this on the website all right guys so if i go to what we're going to do is i am now on myinvestingclub.com this is our website and there's two things i want to show you real quick before i wrap up like I just said, Alex is live trade. So when you go here, guys, once you're signed in, you're going to be able to see these live trades. So Alex actually is starting to record these. Like I said before, the first one was $145,000 profit on BBBY. This is exclusive to lifetime members. After the first video, this is free and public. You guys can see this, even if you're not a member, to see what we offer. And Alex just put up his new one, uh, which is going to be awesome. And there's so many more to come. So we're really proud of that. Now, on the website, guys, if we go to the main page, what you're going to see real quick is a couple things. Alex's broker statements. So if you go down really quick, you can go right here, meet the team, see the creators, obviously myself bound Alex, see that he's made 7, I thought it was 7.3, 7.5 million in the last three years, verified broker statements. And then guys, if you have any questions about MIC, you need to book a call. And as always, the first five people that text me the code, what was the... Well, how much did he make this week? Around 6,000. Text me 6,000 to 213-458-5997 and or book a call. Mention that on the phone. We'll give you a free, uh, we will give you a free mentorship call and we will also, just kind of like a free coaching session and we will also answer all your questions. So you can either book a call and or text my line at 213-458-5997 right here. Text it quote unquote 6,000. All right, guys, I will see you next week for another ESPN Highlight Reel MIC style.